What's going on guys? One of my tweets recently received 7k likes, went viral and I got a lot of questions and DMs about it. One of these questions was what was the roadmap? So the tweet itself is a before and after picture and I said few things that I did or few things that happened after my transformation and during my transformation. So it was basically me before and after, how, eat meat, read daily, lift weights, own your shit, don't eat for fun, start a side hustle, wear clothes that fit, invest in your education, sleep 8 hours every night, cut out distraction while you work, and replace video games with a purpose. So the tweet in itself is really a blueprint, you know, it's what I did basically to, to just lose weight and make my life better and change my mindset and change my body and change the way I see life, how I work and how I spend my time. So let's start with these points and then I'll give you a few more other things you can improve. I was vegetarian for a year, a few months before I did my transformation. So I did it because I thought we shouldn't kill animals and stuff like that. I still think that we shouldn't torture animal we should treat them better but we still must eat them because we need to eat them to be healthy and personally I want myself to be healthy instead of saving an animal which is a bit harsh but nature is harsh too so eat meat i didn't switch right away to eating 100 percent meat or being carnivore or anything but i just started putting meat back in my diet and i started feeling much better i lost weight too it wasn't only thanks to meat but i lost weight so that's a very good start the thing you need to understand here is eat what nature gave us don't eat fake stuff, don't eat, I don't know man, junk food, uh, stuff that's sold in a box, etc. I think it was Mangan who said that if your grandmother can't recognize it, don't eat it. So yeah, go back to basics, meat, eggs, rice, vegetables if you want, I don't eat vegetables. So here's that, first point, eat meat, read daily, yeah, pretty simple, like you, you can change your mindset if you don't challenge your point of view, basically. So read whatever it is, books, listen to ebooks, you can read book summaries, maybe just watch YouTube videos, so really the point is really educate yourself, learn new things, challenge your knowledge and change your mindset because your mindset is the key to everything you do if you're limited by your mindset you can do anything in life third point lift weights so this is pretty self-explanatory lifting weights will make you feel better look better make you stronger make you more confident and make you feel better you know you, you can be the best version of yourself if you're fat or if you're skinny or if you're you're physically inept that's really what I want to say. You can have all the money in the world and all the success in the world and the best career, etc. If you're not in the top of your physical shape, you can be at your maximum potential. And lifting weight brings other benefits like if you lift weights, you're gonna try to eat better. So, you know, so it always brings other stuff with it. So third point, lift weights. Own your shit, own your shit. Stop complaining. Everything that happens to you is your fault. Don't be a victim, don't complain, don't say it's the system, it's my boss, it's the university, it's that, it's this, this one has more money, this one has more power, this fuck that shit, alright? Life have dealt us cards and we gotta play with these cards and there's someone who has more money than you and there's also many who have very little than you have if you're watching this video on youtube now or listening to the podcast you are lucky than most people on earth so stop fucking complaining don't eat for fun that's a very important mindset shift Food is food. It's here to nourish us, to give us energy. It's not here for fun. You shouldn't buy biscuits and just keep snacking on them all day long. It's not normal. That's not how we evolve. That's not what we did if we have done that we wouldn't be here today for sure so stop eating just because you feel like it every meal has a purpose every time you put something in your mouth it should have a purpose okay it doesn't mean never to i don't know to snack or never to eat something sweet or anything all right just means most of the time avoid that shit start a side hustle so what can i say about a side hustle a side hustle or a side business can 
can bring you passive income, maybe not so passive income, but still an additional income. It's gonna teach you a new scale. It's gonna teach you how to sell yourself, to market yourself, how to do YouTube videos, how to handle a mailing list. You know, it's gonna teach you a lot of things. So I think everyone should have a side hustle, a side project that he works on and he tries to put out there to other people. Try to put something out there because when you give something to people, you get something back, you learn more, you create a network, etc. So don't make it only a project you work on at your home alone and that no one knows about. So start a side hustle. Wear clothes that fit. So this isn't really what I did to lose weight, but it's just something that you can do to feel better about yourself. A funny thing is that when I got too fat and my shirts couldn't fit anymore, I decided that I wouldn't buy new shirts. I kept wearing the same tight clothes to force me to lose weight and it really worked. So back then I was like, man, if I go buy new clothes, I'm not gonna fucking lose that weight. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be complacent. I hope that's how you say it in English. English is not my first language, obviously. So complacent, complacent, complacy shit i don't know fuck it invest in your education people spend money on restaurants video games on the new iphone or every stupid shit out there but they can buy a course for ten dollars you show them a course for ten dollars they're gonna say oh how are you so sure about this guy? Maybe he's a scammer. I mean, come on. Even if you learn one thing, even if you buy 500 pages course and you learn one thing that can change your life, that money is back. So invest in yourself, invest in your education, buy courses, buy books, buy ebooks, get in touch with people. Buying a course is a way to get in touch with the creator so you can even talk to them. They can provide you with inside about what you're trying to do they can introduce you to other people there are tons of things that could happen after buying a course don't worry about investing if you have for example let's go back to the side hustle if you have a side hustle you're making money so coaching is a side hustle of mine i don't make a lot of money out of it i don't make enough money to to live out of it all right but i use all that money to invest to buy books with the coaching I do. I pay my gym, I pay my video editor, I pay the person that manages my Instagram. If I found a course about making money, I would buy it. It's a positive feedback loop. You create something, you earn some money, you invest it, and in the long term, you're gonna build knowledge, build skills, and later on, you're gonna build wealth and money. Sleep eight hours every night. One of the stupidest shit I thought was there are only 24 hours a day so I'm gonna sleep as little as possible to make as much as possible out of my day which is really fucking retarded because you can't function if you don't sleep it's just impossible like sleep is one of the most important things you can do you can make gains at the gym if you don't sleep you can't concentrate if you don't sleep I'm sure like you try to work late at night I did many times I'm a programmer and uh, I like working at night I just feel so relaxed and and calm you know when everyone's sleeping and everything's dark but sometimes you just can't think and you do stupid mistakes when you wake up the next day after a good night of sleep you catch these mistakes right away so guys I want to go about like sleeping there are limitless studies and articles and stories about sleep so get your fucking eight hours of sleep cut out distraction while you work so this is another thing to level up your life we are surrounded by notifications whatsapp Telegram, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, email clients, YouTube. Every second there's something happening. You shouldn't let that distract you. And if you want to do something, you gotta focus on it and do it. Whether for 30 minutes or for one day. But you gotta say, okay, I have a task. I'm gonna fucking do it now and I'm gonna turn everything off. My phone on don't disturb. Disable notification. Even put your phone in another room. Close fucking Twitter. Close your email client. You could even use two browsers, one browser for work and one browser for personal things. Close the personal things browser, what else you can do? Have separate environments, for example, I have two computers. I have one work computer and one computer for like normal daily use. So when I work, I turn off the screen of the normal computer, 
and I keep my laptop. So guys, cut out distractions, you're gonna get much more productive, you're gonna feel much more relaxed. I still have a smartphone, I wish uh, I could get rid of it, I could probably get rid of it if I do some efforts. I like it because I take videos with it at the gym, otherwise Twitter can wait. I hate working with a smartphone, I fucking hate it, I hate keyboards on the phone. I like my real mechanical keyboard where I can type 90 words per minute, go very fast have a big screen a mouse so I hate smartphones believe me one day I'm gonna do it at least 30 days without a smartphone uh, last point of my tweets Replace video games with a purpose. This line triggered a lot of anger because there were people, oh, how come you say replace video games and you have a game controller in the picture and a gaming computer? Dude, I don't mean stop playing video games forever, ever. I'm just saying don't make them your life. You know, when I used to, before my transformation, I used to come back home and either play video games or work or like learn to code. And most of the time it was video games. So I came home at seven seven half past seven and I play it till one in the morning so video games are video games they're virtual except if you're like a pro gamer if you're a pro gamer play your fucking video games it's your job but if it's not stop leveling up in a virtual environment you're not leveling up in the real life and the real life is what matters you live in the real life your rent is in the real life you work in real life all right you want to do anything it's real life it's not in a video video game so drop video games and this could be another topic but you know if you create a purpose if you have a purpose for example what's a purpose it's like a hobby or a project or anything for example my purpose right now is I'm working on a software called Hype Fury I want to release it so for now this is my purpose I'm doing this fitness business I make music I don't have the time for it but I want that when the pressure goes down I'm gonna go back to make in music that's my purpose and naturally I play less video games because of that I want to play games like for example right now I want to play Metal Gear 2 I played Metal Gear 1 few months ago I really loved it like I played it 20 years after it was released and I want to play the 2, the 3rd, the 4th and Metal Gear 5 but I have to do these videos because I'm trying to work on building my business and building my online presence so I can't do it, alright? So just find something that you love, so something that's productive that gives you something to be proud about, you know? Because video games, man... Except if you're like in the top of the top, there isn't anything to be proud about about having finished the video game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What was my blueprint? I would say like really pretty much what I've said in the tweet. So really, the last thing I can say is you need to change your mindset because the mindset is the key to unlock everything else in life. If you're fat and you think you're made to be fat and it's genetics and you'll never be not fat, you are never gonna be not fat, of course, because your mindset is limiting you. If you work a shitty job, even if you make money, there are a lot of people who work shitty jobs and they make good money. It doesn't like money isn't everything. Maybe you make good money, but you're a fucking slave and you go, you wake up early every morning and you commute for one hour and a half and then you need to come back one hour and a half and you're boss puts pressure on you and everything if you think that you are made to be the slave of your boss you'll always be the slave of your boss if you want to make money online but think it's not possible <laughs> of course you're not gonna make money and you're fucking lying to I really must pay attention to the state of my batteries so I was speaking about mindset and I think the last example I was giving was about money. If you think that you can make money online, you will probably never make money offline. So first you must get rid of all of your limiting beliefs and know that you can work towards your goals to achieve them. And even if you don't achieve them, you should at least try, all right? And when you try and even if you fail, you're gonna have learned new things, you know? new things that no one can take off from you all right so thank you for watching this video hit me up with all your questions and see you guys next time